Hello Collectors, it is Steven here once again with another Rampage review for you, and today we are taking a look at Ralph's Canister Contact Set. Yes, Ralph, instead of being an upright wolf, he's now running around on all fours, and in the Canister Contact Set, to be perfectly honest with you, this Ralph is not looking too much different than a normal wolf. However, he does come packed in with some neat goodies if you're a fan of some of Lennard's other offerings and if you like General Army figures. So, with that in mind, is this set worth hunting down? Well, you know the drill, you know what I'm going to say, so let's take a look to see whether or not it's worth adding into your collection. Before we get this review formally started, here is a look at the packaging for Ralph. So this way you know what to look for on the store shelf. And as you can see here, we get a nice shot of Ralph in the window package there. And we can see all the goodies that Ralph comes with. We get quite a bit in this set, so I'm going to hopefully be able to hit all of the high points for you and all the low points throughout the review. On the back of the box, we just see some promotional stuff and some blurbs here and there just to get you to go ahead and pick this up and throw it in your cart while you're heading down the aisle. Here is a short synopsis of the movie that, if you're interested in reading, it's the same as all the other figures. Go ahead and click on pause while you read that because I'm not going to keep it up for that long. All right? All right. Let's get into the review. So this is one of those weird balancing acts where I have to sort of separate the design of this from how well Lennard actually executed Ralph here because he is very, very much so different than what we see in the movie. And admittedly, this is his pre-mutated form in a way. Um, yeah. So anyway... How is the Ralph figure here? I got to be perfectly honest with you. I do actually think this is kind of a step below what they're normally putting out for the Rampage stuff, most specifically coming off of the Lizzie Canister Contact set. Because, as you'll see around Ralph's mouth, it does look like the paint is a little splotchy in some areas. Now, that may sound like I'm nitpicking, if you will, but Lizzie actually looked a little bit better. And as you will see in the George review, he actually looks pretty solid, too. So, yeah, I'm kind of upset with Ralph here. But, aside from that, the paint for the ears actually does look very nice, and the eyes are are nice and clean there and the rest of Ralph's paint is actually blended in very well. The sculpted details are nice but unfortunately I am not really believing that he is a furry animal. <sighs> yeah I said the word. Now what's also cool is that we can see the kind of spoilers if you haven't been paying attention to the trailer so go ahead and hit the mute button for a couple of seconds. The wings that Ralph has on his rib cage area so that's really cool that they included the details there. Spoiler section over. So with that in mind, the sculpt details are nice, and the paint, aside from the mouth, I actually think is pretty cool. Articulation-wise, though, Ralph is pretty much pre-posed in a turning pose. He does have a hinged jaw, so he can open and close his mouth, and he does have swivels where his legs connect into the body. So, though he is pre-posed, you can get some slight movement out of him. You can make him look like he's perching up or even jumping through the air, but uh, realistically speaking, all of these canister contact Ralphs, they're not going to be too expressive. Now we're going to take a look at everything that Ralph comes with here. And first and foremost, he does come with your generic soldier. And this guy does have some trouble standing up. Not the only thing in the set that you're going to see that has trouble standing up. On the turntable here, I had to put a piece of tape down so this way he actually stayed standing up. So this way you could see all the details. Not only that, he only has two points of articulation. And those would be shoulder swivels. And since he's already kind of pre-posed, the articulation is kind of moot. Also of note, he does come with a gun, as you can clearly see him holding in his hands. And yes, I'm leaving that band on there. And unfortunately, it doesn't quite fit his hands, so it's warped. Now aside from that, the set also comes with some barricades. Yeah, pretty cool. We get one with what looks to be like a set of lights on them. And that metal bar across the middle there, the gray one, the silverish one, whatever you want to say... Yeah, it's clearly a decal. I mean, it's kind of something that's very, very obvious, and that's how they're going to do it, but, yeah, you know, you can tell it's a decal. Usually those are hidden in pretty well. 
We also get another barricade that has barbed wire on it, so that's pretty neat. This is more of like a hazard road sign type of deal. But unfortunately, this one I am not a huge fan of. Not because of quality, not because of this, that, or the other that some may say uh, nitpicking. It doesn't like to stand up. Nope. It's very, very, very finicky, and you have to work very carefully to make sure that it stands up straight. Because this does like to fall over, even at the slightest bump. Not a big fan of that. Next up, we do get a rocket launcher here, and this is really, really cool. Except you'll see one thing that I'm kind of upset that it doesn't have. So, this rocket launcher has a lot of nice military decoration to it. You can see a couple of numbers on the side. It has three legs, so it's a tripod. And we get four missiles to go along with it, so that is indeed really cool. Something to take note of, though, <laughs> they've been using this thing since 2003. Yep, that's why you always pay attention to the copyright information, kids. You can see when stuff is made. Now, this thing does move around a little bit. We do have a swivel at where the cannons connect into those legs, and then the cannons themselves actually move up and down. Now, they are connected together, so you do have to keep that in mind. Now, remember that thing that I said that I didn't like? The missiles are kind of just for show. There's no button to make them fire, which I think is... Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I think it's kind of dumb. I think that's really something that they should have added in. But hey, it is what it is. Rounding up the set, we do actually have the canister that Ralph comes with, and it is actually a bent one. So Lizzie comes with a fully cracked one. Ralph comes with a bent one. Hmm, I wonder what George might come with. Anyway, it's really cool. We have some nice sculpted details. It's a nice gray. So if you're looking to add a little bit of pizzazz to your Rampage shelf, this will be the one for you. Now, as you may have noted, this is the truly pre-mutated Ralph. And as you can see here with the Big City Brawl Ralph, aside from just the size, there are plenty of details between the two. So if you're looking for a more accurate display as to what Ralph will actually be in the movie, you're probably going to want to go after the Big City Brawl Ralph. Now with that in mind, here is a size comparison with Ralph and the other canister contact figures and some other kaiju figures you just might have. As you can see, Ralph definitely blends in with the 6 inch scale figures that you might already have, but unfortunately, like I said, this probably isn't going to be the quote unquote iconic version of Ralph from the movie. So buy now, skip, or wait for that deal. Ralph is pretty cool, but he is essentially a pre-posed figure, and the accessories, they're very neat, especially if you do collect the smaller scale army men stuff. Unfortunately, yeah, I really just think that it's a bummer that we are only going to have this for our smaller Ralph, which really isn't so much of a detriment to this figure, it's just a fact of life. Overall, I think the set is really cool. For the price, we get a lot of neat stuff. But if you're an adult collector, then maybe you're going to go more so towards the big city brawl stuff. But at the same time, if you're looking for just a good representation of Ralph from the Rampage movie, and you're just going to go for that, Canister Contact Ralph just might be the one for you. Well, folks, that's the end of this review. Thanks for watching, and be sure to follow me on social media to catch more behind-the-scenes shenanigans and updates. The end card should be popping up now with more hand-selected STR goodness for you to watch, so check out some of those videos. Be sure to check the description, too, to see where you can buy this figure or others like it and some cool links, like the credits for this video and other ways you can help out the channel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.